Why a last unicorn screening? Why a tour constantly around the country, out of the country, um, screening the film over and over for different audiences each time, answering questions, raffling off con things connected with The Last Unicorn, with the book and the movie as well. We discovered some years back that there was an audience for this film made in 1982, this old animated, even prehistoric film in the sense of what's been going on in animation for the last 30 years. And yet, people, we've been getting packed houses. We've been getting um, inqu inquiries from towns and cities asking us if we could please come there. And I think it has to do with the fact that, that it is different from most other animation, that it's a bittersweet story which does not end in proper Disney fashion with um, the prince and princess going off into the sunset. It's a lot more complex than that, like life. And it's funny in the strangest places and dark in places where you expect funny. There's nothing quite like it. And, and it reflects a book that I wrote or published in 1968, which is getting on close to 50 years. Somehow, over the years, it found its audience, and it's an ongoing audience. There are people who bring second and third generations to see the movie and who raise their children on the, the story. I don't altogether know the answer, but I'm very grateful.